I know it's a Monday, so I have a riddle to wake you guys up. The riddle is, there are three girls going to school. They shared one umbrella. How come the girls did not get wet? Stay tuned until the end of V Live to find out the answer. Now, on to the next segment. Good morning, we Learners. Today's specials is day six. It's time to take a look at the weather. Today's weather is partly sunny, with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 65 degrees. Over the next couple of days, we'll have highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s. So make sure you bring those jackets on your way to school, but get ready to enjoy some sunshine. Please stand for the American and Texas Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Lee Spurs. Good morning. Happy Monday, Mrs. Kistrunis. Thanks, Mrs. Howard. It is day six in our rotation. We're so glad that everyone's here today. We are super excited to give you an update on Write a Check. Yes. All right, so we were working towards a goal of $10,000 mm -hmm. and we are so close. So we raised a total of $9,955. We are $45 short of our goal. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping just some little donations will trickle in after morning broadcast today, Ms. Howard. Yep. I bet they will. We've got great parents and I bet they're going to hear that and be like, oh, I gotcha. We, we can That's do that. That's right. And we still never got a donation from a learner in P4. So if that learner, a learner in P4 would donate, we could do it. We could mm -hmm. do it. So we are going to give you an update on the classes that raised the, okay. So we have one class that raised the most money. Do you know which one that is, Ms. Howard? I'm going to guess based on all of the conversations that we've had about Ride a Check in the past, this past two weeks, that um, it's probably a kindergarten class. You're right. It is a kindergarten class. And for the last few updates, this class has been in the lead. They, the, mo they raised the most contributions in their class, 670 five dollars in fact that's about a third of the money raised in that whole house so congratulations miss jarman you are going to get a target gift card from pto for having your learners donate the most now the ones that, that, that we had a tie for the classrooms that had the most people participating we had two classrooms they're both in the same grade and they both had 10 participants. That is Would you awesome. like to give us an update, Mrs. Howard? Absolutely. So we want to give a big shout out to Red 2 and Yellow 2. Now, it doesn't tell us in our email if it's Red 2A or Red 2B, but second grade in general, way to go, Red House and Yellow House, for knocking it out of the park. So there are two teachers who will be getting gift cards from Target as well. So we ended up with three teachers. Yay, thank you PTO and thank you parents and students for your generous donations. So now we'd like to tell you what house won with the highest donations total. The last couple years it's been Green House. And so 
the last couple weeks, we've had yellow in the lead. Mm. Let's drum roll and see if they won. The winner with $2,315 in donations is, you say it. Oh, Red, go Red! Woo! Red House, congratulations, Red House. Great job, we're so proud of you. You get the boot, the Golden Boot Award. We'll put some red tissue paper in there and bring it to Red House. You are the new champions for Write a Check this year. Congratulations. Good job, everyone. So we are going to host a fire drill today, right, Mrs. Howard? We sure are, this afternoon. We are going to have a fire drill, so remember, it could happen in the morning, it could happen in the afternoon, or maybe at lunchtime. I don't know. We'll find out. Remember to get to the nearest exit, which is either the cafeteria, the eco pond, or the front doors. Get to a teacher. If your teacher and your whole class are not together, we will make sure that we get you checked in on our Navigate 360 app. That's right. All right. And designers, make sure you're also checking yourself in. You guys do a great job of checking in your classes, but you're just as important as your kiddos. So make sure you check yourself in too. And some of our at-home teachers, like we've had some teachers who are sick, who get that alert on their phone and they say, I'm not here today. Awesome job, designers. <laughs> awesome job. Okay. The other thing is um, Wednesday is school picture day. So everyone needs to come to school with their hair done, get um, business on the top, don't care if you party on the bottom, because guess what? It's only from the waist up. Mm -hmm. These pictures will go in our yearbooks, and we will also have our, our at-home learners coming up during their scheduled time for their pictures as well. Remember, everyone must wear their mask. They will let you take your mask off for your photograph, and then they'll have you put it right back on because we want to make sure everyone stays safe. Yep. But remember, pick your favorite outfit to wear on Wednesday because it is school picture day. That's right. All right. We hope everyone had a great weekend. We love you and can't wait to see everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. The word of the week this week is gratitude. Gratitude means the act of being grateful or thankfulness. The quote of the week this week is, the ones you should try to get even with are the ones who have helped you. The tip of the week this week is, always say thank you when given something. When given an assignment, there is no moaning or complaining. Saturday's birthdays are Sia in Y5 and Isha in P1B. Sunday's birthdays are Isabella in R4, Maria in R3, Sumer in G1, Amit in B1, and Addison in P1B. Today's birthdays are Arusha in B5 and Tabor in R3. Tomorrow's birthdays are Axel and Y5. Happy birthday from everyone in the Lee Live broadcast crew. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong. Now on to the next segment. Good morning, Lee Spurs, and happy Mindful Monday. When we practice our breathing, it's important that we're taking deep breaths. For a lot of us, we've been learning about the brain the last few weeks, and we've talked about the hand-brain model and remember, as a reminder, we wanna make sure that we are regulating our brain and so that our upstairs brain can talk to our downstairs brain so we don't flip our lid, right? That's when the amygdala takes over and our big emotions are controlling our thoughts and our actions and we can't do our best thinking when that happens, okay? So in order for us to do that, we need to practice strategies that help us when we've got those indicators that we might be getting close to flipping our lid. So when we practice our breathing, I wanna make sure that we're taking deep belly breaths. And in order for us to do that, I like to use something called a Hoberman sphere. Sphere, excuse me, it looks like this. So when you're taking a deep breath in, I want you to inhale like you're imagining a balloon is expanding in your belly, okay? So when you take a deep breath in, the balloon expands 
as you exhale, you can feel that air leaving the balloon, okay? So as we practice some deep breathing this morning, I want you to focus on the Hoberman sphere. I want you to imagine that balloon inside your belly as you're taking deep breaths. Here we go. Great job. Have a mindful Monday. Welcome back to the Hobbies at Home segment with Nishta. Today we're going to be making paper divas for Diwali. If you know that Diwali is actually a festival of lights. And a lot of our Asian friends celebrate Diwali. And it's going to be happening next week. So today we're going to be making some fun paper divas. For this you will need white paper, colorful stationery like colored pencils, markers, crayons, scissors, and glue. So for this you will need a white sheet of paper and you can draw um, a big rectangle with um, the length as 10.5 inches and the width as 3.5 inches. And you can do some designs in it and um, draw two flames. Also cut, make it colorful, however you like. This is how yours should look like after being cut and colored. Now you need to bend it back and forth like this. Something like this. Now you need to spread it out like this and glue the flame on top right here. Now you have your final product, Amazing Paper Diva. Well, I hope you had fun in making this. Thank you for watching. Bye. Anyway, that's it for today's Lee Live. The answer to the riddle was it wasn't even raining. Did you get it? Well, that's it for now. See you on Wednesday. Peace.